Okay, so let's look at some of the types of cleaning processes. Pre-cleaning is important for every penetrant testing because we don't want any dirt stuck on the top surface before we put penetrant on. The first one is solvent cleaning, which we saw in the first video, which is spraying some solvent on the top surface and wiping it off with lint-free cloth. Second option is detergent cleaning, which is just putting your test object inside a detergent solution and wiping it dry. Third option is vapor degreasing. In vapor degreasing, you see this demonstration right here. The test object has some grease on it and it is put on top of a vapors or steam so that the grease comes off by itself and let it dry. And that cleans the test object. Another method for cleaning would be steam cleaning, which is similar to vapor degreasing. The most common application that we know of is cleaning our barbecue grills and, and cleaning floors with steam. Fifth type of cleaning process is ultrasonic cleaning. This is interesting process. As you see in this demonstration, uh, there's pencil dust on the ring. And as I try to put it in the solution and swish it, the dust doesn't come off. But now watch, when I switch the ultrasonic cleaner off, I don't even have to shake it. Just the vibrations of the, of the solution take all the dust off. Now, even if I stick two rings together and switch the ultrasonic cleaner on, it still takes the dust off from between the crack inside the gap. Okay, very powerful cleaning technique. Next one is acid and alkaline cleaning, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, seventh and one of the least used type of cleaning process is etching. And one of the most common applications we've seen is uh, for gift items when we etch the surface we want to, you know, write our names on or um, draw some symbols on it. And that actually cleans the top surface off. So this can be used for penetrant inspection as well. 